today. Here we go again uh, in the series of uh, how to grow orchid and uh, to make uh, growing orchid is easy. So in this series, I will try to uh, explain to you or even uh, share with you and discuss with you about the types of pots used in orchid uh, cultivation. Uh, of course, there are possibility the ways of growing orchid without pots. I will explain later. Pot. Now we concern on pot because pot uh, is very very popular and very convenient and easy. Uh, the thing is in front of me we have different types of pots, materials and size. But one question always asked is why pots? Why must you pot the orchid plants? Well, there are two reasons that I can actually uh, share with you. One is actually the pot is important or is useful for holding the plants and root anchorage because the roots has to uh, hold on to something. In a pot, the root will hold on to the medium as well as the internal and the external surface. And number two, if you pot your orchids, it is very convenient to uh, move around, even for nursery that sell plant, definitely you have to put in pot because customer uh, will, uh, will actually take away potted plants or buy potted plants and then it can be made easily available. And uh, I said earlier, uh, pots come in different sizes and material and also uh, whether it is aerated, whether it is with holes or, or, or without. Most all orchids pot must have a large hole. I tell you why. And uh, the thing is, uh, in front of me here, I have basically two types of pots, material-wise, used in orchid. We have the uh, traditional uh, clay pot. Remember clay pots? Uh, in fact, we have uh, uh, food actually served in clay, also clay pots. And, uh, and we have the plastic pot, which is actually more popular now, not to say more modern, because there's still uh, orchid uh, uh, growers prefer orchid growth in pot. And the thing is, you understand about pot, they actually have uh, given certain terms, uh, certain words that describe the pots, so that you're familiar with the techniques and also whatever you read about orchid growing. We have the, the smallest one called thumb pots. In fact, they are much smaller than this is 2 inches thumb because this mainly uh, we need for this type of pot to transfer plants from the bottles, the tissue culture bottle. Actually, all orchids are tissue cultured or cloned. So when they come in a bottle, either you break the bottles or you just use forceps to remove the young plants called plantlet into is thumb pot very small and then we have the uh, three inches four inches six inches seven inches size based on the diameter they just call it that way so why we need different sizes because for, for plantlets we need small volume small material and then you can pack the number of pots in a, like a more smaller space and then we need to transfer as the plant grow we need to transfer into bigger pots. In fact, there's only three times you should transfer from the thumb pot to about three or four inches size and finally to six or seven inches diameter. Just that. Some people transfer more than uh, three times, it depends. And uh, most uh, orchid pots uh, I mentioned to you have big holes at the bottom or sometimes they have more holes at the side, depending on the types of orchid because this is for larger roots or for good ventilation and uh, otherwise they have don't have holes in the side but they have holes at the bottom you see and then similarly with the bigger pots so the bigger holes at the bottom uh, i tell you the reason why so the clay pot the same thing they have bigger holes for drainage the same thing the, the sizes come also uh, from 3 inches, 4 inches, 6 inches, but there are less uh, 
they are more difficult to buy or to obtain now in the nursery or, or we don't use anymore in my nursery we use 100 percent use uh, plastic ball because plastic balls are lighter and then not easily broken and then you can stack you can keep you can transport easily so but many people ask any other advantages to the plant uh, while the plant is growing which one is more preferred or what happened when they are in uh, plastic pot as well as in the clay pot as you know plastic pot uh, are more compact the, the side of the pot in fact it can keep high moisture if you plant if you need high moisture within the pot of course the plastic pot will keep the pot but uh, the other thing is uh, it's just more natural to grow in the clay pot. Uh, I'm not sure whether they can affect any significant difference in the plant growth. So the price of course varies with the size. And uh, the smaller of course the cheaper. Uh, but the other thing is that how these orchid pots are designed also very important. You see, uh, traditionally, you find the pots with very almost there is no lips around the uh, top portion of the pot but in my farm or in many other orchid farm now you have very uh, what you call uh, wider lips or I mean about one centimeter the reason why because uh, we don't place pots on the bench or on the beams but we place in between the wooden slats so later on I will show you uh, in the field how we uh, place this pot on the racks. So otherwise uh, you have your choice uh, to use whatever pots you like. And in fact I mentioned earlier you can also grow orchid without pots. Pot is not something that you have to use pot to grow orchids. It is just convenience and also in fact, more natural for the orchid to grow without pots, but depending on the types, not all types grow well uh, without pots. Thank you for watching our video on orchids. If you would like to know more about hexagon green and orchid growing, check out our other videos in the playlist. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram. Our orchid farm in Banting, Selangor is open on weekdays we welcome visitors. If you like what we have seen, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Remember, growing orchid is not difficult. We have made it easy. See you next time.